Think you're getting the best out of your PC? Well, think again. In today's video, I'm revealing the secret tweaks that no one's talking about. These tweaks will cut your processor usage by half and you'll be able to get so much more frames in game. And if you don't watch this video till the very end, you are honestly going to be leaving frames on the table that you're not going to have and everyone else will. You really don't want to miss this. And before we get into the video, these are just some things that we're going to be covering. Some hidden settings to lower your CPU usage, advanced tweaks that pros are using for their PC performance and literally simple changes that instantly boost your frames don't miss this every second you wait is another game that you're not playing at your full potential let's jump in and take your pc to the next level okay so the first tweak we're going to be doing be on your desktop head over to the bottom click right click click on task manager once you're on task manager click on performance right here go on to cpu and now what you want to look at is what we're talking about this whole video the processors we want this number to be as low as possible the ideal range is about 90 to 100 and if you're thinking jinchi why are you giving us tips if you're not even at 90 to 100 boys because i'm literally recording i have google open i'm editing the video obviously i'm not going to be on the ideal range but when i restart i'm always on 90 to 100 now by the way before we get into this leave in the comments what you actually start your processes with some people have like 200 210 but the first week we're going to do head over to the services tab what you want to do make it full screen go on to open services bottom left click onto that it will take a second once you're here one thing you want to do is disable the auto time zone updater right click onto it it, go on to properties startup type needs to be on disabled these are literally completely pointless services in the background of your pc constantly using your cpu processors which you don't need server status make sure to be stopped boys if this says started or starting so anything like that make sure you stop it the startup type then you go on to disable apply and okay simple as that so boys follow along that's what we're going to be doing throughout this video another one you need to do diagnostic execution services pretty much from reporting back to Microsoft about your troubleshooting. Again, go on property, startup type needs to be disabled, make sure the server status is stopped, then you press apply and okay. Now another one, literally just below it, diagnostic service host. And by the way, if you wanna read about it, what it actually is, literally on the top left. And if you guys are unsure whether to disable it or keep it enabled for your PC, 99% of you, I'm literally sure this is completely fine, but the 1% literally just read this just in case. But again, like this is completely fine to do. Go on to properties, startup type, make sure it's disabled click apply and okay remember if you have to pause any times please please do pause the video as these services are literally the main reason that your processes are so so high it's literally processes meaning high literally means there are loads of apps and services running on in the background of your pc that's literally what this is now the next one you need to do diagnostic system host properties disable it make sure you do that and if there are any services that i know will be like a 50 50 if you guys shouldn't disable it i will definitely let you know but as for now we're completely fine remember dialogue blocking service make sure you disable that one scroll down a little bit more download maps manager literally it's just the maps who who on earth uses maps on your pc anymore go on to properties make sure you disable that head over down a little bit more until we see net.tcp port sharing service disable this one net logon disable that one next one open ssh authentication agent make sure you're disabling that parental controls now again remember when i said 50 50 this is probably one of them if you have parental controls on your pc boys do not disable this one it will get rid of it and boys if you don't have parental controls let's you disable this fine you're obviously not using parental controls disable that one now we'll scroll down a bit more until we see remote desktop configuration disable this one remote desktop services disable that one routering and remote access boys disable that one scroll down a little bit more shared pc account manager if you have a shared pc account make sure to not disable this but obviously most of you watching this video like i said 99 percent of you will not have a shared pc make sure you disable that one if you don't sys main this is a really really good one to disable your ping will be a bit better if you do this one as well make sure you disable that one disable scroll down a little bit more windows biometric service disable this one user experience fertilization service disable that one scroll down a bit more windows mobile hotspot if you play with hotspot make sure you do not disable this or if you ever use hotspot on your pc do not disable this but for me i use wi-fi for you guys using ethernet you guys can disable that as well completely fine to do windows search disable that one 
Now, right here at the bottom for extreme, literally these cause so many processors. They're so bad for your PC. Your lag is so, so high if you have these enabled Xbox. Remember, if you're using any Xbox accessories, do not disable this. But for most of you watching this video and watch my previous videos, like I said, always use Nvidia, not Xbox. Make sure to disable this. Remember, for some of you, the server status is probably starting or already started. Make sure you stop it, then disable, then apply. One other one that I forgot to just quickly talk about is the work folders properties disable that one as well once you have disabled all of them make sure you go through the videos again make sure you don't miss any as a couple do literally bring up your processes so so high once you do that restart your pc quickly go on to task manager and i bet you just by doing that already your processes will be just that bit lower literally by that first week now boys moving on to our next week head over to the search bar search sys system configuration pops up click onto system configuration. There's going to be three startup selections. Now, most of you will be on normal startup. Do not click onto that one. Instead, click onto selective startup. Once you're on selective startup, tick the first two boxes, not the third one. We're not gonna be using the original boot configuration. Once you're done with that, press apply. Go on to boot now. Timeout. Timeout, you can click between zero and five seconds. Simple as that. But you might be thinking, what timeout do we use? Now, if you have a God PC, the best of the best PCs, use the lower timeout. So zero seconds, for example. If you have a very, very bad PC or a laptop, click on to five seconds. If you have an average PC, click on three seconds. Now, if you're not sure about my timeout, head over to the description of my video and literally join my Discord server and tell me what timeout you should use. Just tell me your CPU and your GPU and I'll tell you what timeout to use. Literally, I'm not trying to sell you anything. Discord server has almost 3,000 members in it. Join it in the link below. Once you do that, go on to advanced options and the number of processors. What you want to do is click onto the number of processors. Now, you'll be between literally eight, 12, 12, 16, 32. Make sure you click the highest amount as obviously 16 is better 16 times better than one simple as that click the maximum amount click on ok but make sure pci lock is not enabled debug not enabled maximum memory that has to not be enabled as well so once you've done the maximum process you can click on ok and apply right here remember if you're not sure about timeout join my discord server and type in general chat saying jinshi what time do i use simple as that click on ok and we'll go on to our next week now, one other thing you guys need to do to actually reduce that input delay, head over to search bar one last time, search game, game mode settings will pop up right here, game mode settings, click onto that, game mode off for me. Now, I'll explain if you guys should have it on or off. Now, if you have a Ryzen 3 or a Ryzen 5, in my opinion, you should have this off. So pretty much a low end PC, have this off. Mid to high range PC, have this on. But this is still quite preference for your pc so in my opinion i have a very good pc i have a ryzen 7 x 3d a quite a good cpu and a good gpu but i still have this off because i find when i have this on i get a bit more delay so experience with this and if you guys have it on try with it off if you guys have it off try with it on but normally it is low end pc so you do have this off another thing you guys need to do head over to game bar game bar has to be off literally in every single pc this uses so much processors your strain on your cpu is so high because of game bar instead of game bar you need to be using nvidia geforce experience 10 times better uses hardly any processors literally zero delay as well once you've done that that is all the tweaks done for this video i hope you did enjoy remember to restart your pc let me know how your pc feels down in the comments and if it is better please do leave a like and subscribe i'll see you guys further on this week